Hello, my name is Steve Zeiser, and I'm a state representative from Fargo. And I've been concerned about gun safety for many, many years. And actually, I have a brother-in-law that had three loaded pistols in his closet with three kids around. And I was very hopeful that when he used a belt on those kids, unfortunately, one of those kids didn't decide to turn around and say, I've had enough, Dad, and turn around and use one of those loaded pistols. Fortunately, by accident, we discovered that they were loaded when we were up there to visit in Alaska. So that's the kinds of things that I'm concerned about. I also want to say that I value the Second Amendment and freedoms that we have. But the concern about the Second Amendment, when we have guns that inflict and create deaths of other people, we're starting to run against the freedoms of other people. When somebody can't live just so somebody can have the right to have any gun, any place, any time, whether it's an assault rifle and not have background checks, there's something wrong. It's sad that we just have names, but we do have names. And it's it's a awful list. As I continue here, um, Montero Alonzo Pebbles Kellogg, age 19, killed with a gun on December 21st, 2012 in Hoover, Alabama. Latanya Janice Morton, age 20, killed with a gun December 21st, 2012 in Hoover, Alabama. Charles Hooten, age 39, killed with a gun on December 21st, 2012 in Conway, Arkansas. Demaria Corgley, age 34, killed with a gun on December 21st, 2012, in Emeryville, Emeryville, California. Felipe Jason Marino, age 20, killed with a gun on December 21st, 2012, in San Bernardino.